The various email communication protocols, such as POP, IMAP, and SMTP, are transmitted over virtual pathways known as ports. Like most mail servers, mDaemon can be configured to deliver mail over specific ports. To access the port configuration screen, click on Ports in the left-hand navigation menu on the Server Settings screen. Starting from the top, we find the ports for inbound SMTP and outbound SMTP. The MSA port, 587, enables the sending of emails in authenticated mode only. This is a message submission agent or MSA port that can be used by your users as an alternative to the SMTP inbound port specified above. Transmission on this port requires authentication, therefore users sending on this port must configure their mail clients appropriately to ensure that their connections are authenticated. Also, because some ISPs block port 25, your remote users might be able to circumvent that restriction by using the MSA port instead. If you do not want to designate an MSA port, then set this value to 0 to disable it. Continuing in this window, we find the port settings for reception of ODMR or on-demand mail relay signals and SMTP with SSL enabled. The following are the ports for receiving messages using POP or IMAP. 110 for inbound and outbound POP connections in plain text, 995 for POP with SSL, 143 for IMAP connections, and 993 for IMAP connections over SSL. If the SSL ports are grayed out, then go to Security, Security Settings. Select mDaemon under the SSL and TLS section. Check the box Enable SSL, Start TLS, and STLS. Make sure you have a valid SSL certificate, then check the box Enable the dedicated SSL ports for SMTP, IMAP, and POP3 servers. Then click on Apply and OK. Continuing on the ports configuration screen, you also have the following default ports. Port 53 for querying DNS, Port 389 for the LDAP protocol, Port 1000 for mDaemon's web-based remote administration application, and Port 4069, the Minger port. When changing these ports, make sure that the same changes are also made on any email clients that are connecting with mDaemon. Changes to these ports can be made for practical purposes for internal use. For example, we can decide that POP communication between company clients and the mDaemon server should take place on a port other than 110. If you have a firewall on your network, you may want to ensure that these ports are open on the firewall to allow communication between mDaemon and the clients on your network. At the bottom of the window, there are two buttons. The first restores the ports to their original settings. If any changes are made, the second button binds these ports to their new values. Click on Apply and OK to save your changes. As with all settings in mDaemon, these port designations are stored in a configuration file located inside the mDaemon directory. Port settings are located in the mDaemon.ini file. Open this file with Notepad to view its contents. Here is the section where your port values are stored. This is important to know because anytime you make changes to mDaemon settings, you can back up these settings by making backup copies of these configuration files. Restoring your previous settings is as easy as drag and drop. This concludes this overview of mDaemon's port settings. In the next video, we'll discuss how to configure mDaemon's DNS and protocol timeout settings.